Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so excited to bring this to you. I found another diamond in a really ugly sea of bad budget pencils. As you guys know, I've been bringing you a lot of nice pencils. Believe me, I've been rejecting so many of them and you're going to soon see I'm in the middle of working on a very special project and that will be coming out in January. I had to show you these pencils before January. I had to show them to you now because I don't want them to run out. These pencils, if you close your eyes, you're going to think are polychromos. They're almost identical. They'll lay down. These pencils were $28. They're fantastic. And I'm about to unveil them. I was very happy when I got this. The tin is very pretty. It's got like a little cut and it's, you know, it's a good quality. A little, st this is a sticker. Um, I can't read because it's in Chinese or Japanese. I'm not sure where these are produced, but it's, the, the lettering is, I can't read it. Wait till you see these pencils. Oh my God. Look at this. Okay, let's see. The inside of the cover of the tin also has the beautiful picture. A plastic, this isn't even cheap plastic, a very nice plastic cover to protect your pencils and a little, I guess, card from them. So when I take this off, because that's uh, opaque, look how gorgeous these pencils are comes with two trays. Now, I like this feature, and especially since I've been getting pencils in every single day to test, I like this feature. I have found that when they have two tiers and the box is wider, it's easy to fit on the desk, and you can see more of the pencils. So all you have to do is lift it up and look at the second row. This set is gorgeous. $28. That's it. A nice assortment of your reds, pinks. It's a very balanced set. You've got your red blues, your green blues going into your greens, your browns, your red browns, your yellow browns. They've got a nice assortment of grays, black, silver, and gold. This is the first budget set where the white actually showed up when I tested them which is amazing. I mean, it's not like a good white, but not 0% of the budget sets had a decent white in them. So I've, I've given up even testing the whites. I have no hope for them. But this one out of the budget sets was the best. Now, besides it being gorgeous and dirt cheap, let's see how they perform. Now, I scored them, and I'm going to give you the score on this. Out of a possible 30 points, I gave, gave it a 28.5, which so far is the highest that I've given to a budget set. Show you the difference. These lay down just like a polychromos, but it doesn't say if it's oil or not. I'm going to guess this is an oil pencil. It reacts just like an oil pencil. You won't be able to tell the difference between this and polychromos. Look how beautiful. Now this paper is very scratched, so. That's two layers. Now let's get a third. I always test with three layers. Look at, it's it's silky smooth. There's no difference. Now, I'm going to show you a polychromos, which is approximately the same color. Very close. Look at that. Okay, so my pal, this one, which one is the polychromos? Um, okay, here's my polychromos. This one's a little darker, the polychromos. Two layers, and now a third.
Whenever I test, I do a cross hatch and then I do circular. You tell me that the lay down is any different from each other. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. In addition to that, let me make sure I'm not mixing them up. They had very good detail work that I was able to do on top of it. Look at that on top of the layers. See if this will go over my polychromos. Look at that. Look how nice. Now let's blend. Okay, let's see. Look how easy it was to blend. The purple came right up. And believe me, I haven't had that from a lot of these budget pencils. Look at that, guys. I'm going to go run and get another set of this because I don't think I'll ever buy polychromos again with this set out there. And, you know, I'm going... When I do the big review on all of these, you will see I am not raving about every pencil. Um, just the diamonds, and this is absolutely the diamond. They're only sold one place on Amazon. I will put the link in the description. Now, just like those Brent Funner pencils that were square, they ran out so quick. It was like four days, and they were out of the pencils, and people are still looking for them. When I got all excited about this, if you're going to get these pencils, get them before they run out. Um, I did see that the, these are a current set, so they'll be able to get them in again. Um, I even looked up the manufacturer, and it's not one of those cheap pencil places with their manufacturer, which we will discuss in that other video. This is a standalone manufacturer. This has my stamp of approval on it. They're gorgeous. They're under $30. You can't go wrong. So here's the summary for these pencils. 72 as opposed to polychromos which is 120 but polychromos is almost two hundred dollars and these are under 28. these are okay this is deli deli d-e-l-i and it's put out by sj star slash joy 72. i will leave the link it's easier to find if i just leave you the link Price is $27.99. Country of origin, it may be China, but I don't think so because these are so much more superior than what I found in the pencils that came from China. I, I'm going to guess it's not China. It has over an 82% approval rating uh, on Amazon, uh, which is very good. Uh, most of the Amazon reviews are completely agree with what I'm telling you. The grain on it, you know, that gritty first layer grain, I gave it a three as compared to a lot of the budget pencils. I'm not comparing these to polychromos. I'm comparing them to other budget pencils within their price range. This was the best. Blendability, I gave it a three out of three. Pencil wearability, I definitely gave it a three. They barely... Um, I barely wore them down at all when I was testing them. Hand ex um, exhaustion. My hands were fine. They're no different than working with the polychromos. Vividness, a three. Color balance of the set, definitely a three. Being able to put details on the layerings, I gave it a 2.5. Is it buttery or scratchy as compared to every other set? From under the budget, it is definitely buttery. Core strength, it's got a three. Um, I did have a teeny amount of dust, but you get that with every pencil. It was no more than any other pencil. I tested every pencil. I didn't break one single pencil. I gave it a the packaging a three plus because um, 
it came on two trays and it's longer and I happen to just like the way it is. Plus, you can have a choice. You can get a, um, a canvas for it. So one or the other. It comes, it says it's ASTM certified. I don't see anywhere. Uh, maybe on here. Wait a minute. I didn't even look on the back. Here are your colors, swatches on the back. And I can't read that. There is. Oh, it's made in China. It is made in China. I'm going to bring this in. There is a website. And contact information, mbdeli.com. I haven't checked that out. This is, like, actually the first time I've turned these pencils over. So that's good. And there's your colors swatched. Remember, the ink is different than the actual one, but this gives you an idea of how balanced the set is. So I gave it a three plus on packaging. It comes with a lifetime guarantee, satisfaction guarantee, which is nice. I wonder if that means that they'll send you another pencil if you run out. It's a guarantee. But I guess that means if you break the core of the pencil, that they'll guarantee they'll send you another pencil. And so it came out to 28.5 out of 30, which is an scored excellent. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Take care.